It's like a satellite dish. What the heck? Whoa! What man, that? that's like 80 pounds. Wow! How did that magnet stay on there? What is going on today, you guys? It is a beautiful day here, probably the nicest day yet, and we are out here bright and early to do some more magnet fishing here, you guys. Join with the fisher off the boat. We are gonna be throwing in a few new locations, you guys. The current's pretty strong, so really we're just gonna poke around and let the current drag the boat. Who knows where we're gonna end up, you guys. This river is hot, though. We have been here a few times, so let's hurry up and get those ropes untied and see how that luck plays out today you guys don't forget to check the channel links in the description and there's also a coupon code there if you did need to pick up a magnet for yourself all right we got our brute boss 360 degree magnet all untied and ready to get our first throw in for today you guys we got a few things around us we got a pretty popular footpath or walking trail and there's a pretty large high school over there and a lot of old businesses in this area. So we're going to come across something while we're just floating down the river. Well, let's get our first throw in, you guys. Let's hope for some good luck today. Let's go. We might have something on our very first throw, man. That feels heavier than just the magnet for sure, dude. What in the world? We got a oh, great looking piece. Like a vent? Yeah, weird. A little heating vent. We could use it right now. It's still a little chilly. And uh, we got the old top of the bucket brim. Seen a few of those before. Hey man, first dip in the water. We got a couple things. Might be a good day here. Oh, did you hear that one? No. No? It's coming up. It's coming up. What do we got? I think the whole thing's oh, buried in the mud. I got something else yeah. here. I think it has something to do with this uh, chunk. That, yeah, bro, look at it. What the heck? Oh, hey, what look. in the world happened yeah, what here? what in the world? We just caught the exact same piece. Like, like literally. Oh, wait, do they go together? They absolutely do. I think they do, bro. Like two they pieces They look like they broke puzzle. off of each other. Like, no way. Yeah. We found the missing links. <laughs> what in the what world do you guys think that? these are? It looks like they have like feet on the bottom of true, them almost, true. at least mine does. Oh yeah, hey, is that stamp Well, oh, there? there is writing on yours. Oh, there's writing on mine too. What, is what the heck are these? They say something. R-O-T-H-E. Raw oh. foundry. Oh, okay. I have a lot of rust on my foundry word, but yeah. I have yeah. a lot of rust on my raw. <laughs> nice, that's yeah. what it says, raw foundry. Yeah. Excellent, man, that's super cool. What a find, what a couple of finds there, you guys. What are the odds of that? No matter what it is though, it's some decent cash money scrap metal, but we can do some Googling later on that Roth foundry. Uh, what if there was like a 150 year old factory here at one time? That'd be crazy. There's a lot of space for it here. Like before they built these houses or something. Roth foundry. Very next throw, I got something else that's heavy, bro. I think I felt a little bit of movement. A little slipping, a little slipping. I might have a chunk of it. Oh, what do we got here? Big old threaded rod, you guys. I, it was extremely heavy. I mean, this is some good weight. Don't get me wrong, maybe 10 pounds, but I was reefing something twice the size or weight of whatever the heck we got off of it. We got a little uh, S hook on there so you can hang stuff, all your hanging needs. I don't know what the heck this is. It kind of looks like a bent up like uh, antenna for maybe a car or something and yeah big threaded rod with the biggest washeroo i've ever seen on there oh i got something again bro just i was about to pull it out of the water what the heck is that oh something fell off but what the heck is that hey i know what it is Check it out, bro. Window yeah, weight. That's I mean, a little one. Yeah, I think it's the first one that I've found all year, perhaps. Cool. Um, there's, it looks like a one kind of engraved there. What the heck does that mean? This needs major, major cleanup before I could tell you any stamping on there, but 100% of window weight, you guys. Awesome find. It's stuck on a rock, you guys. <laughs> Look at it. I just seen the bike seat, seat sitting out, <laughs> sticking out of the mud. Uh, is this not like the biggest bike seat you've ever seen yeah, in your whole sure. life? You oh my fit two gosh. People on there. I can fit two butts on there. <laughs> Some keysters. What are you gonna give me this time? Some grease. Oh, I've been bamboozled, you guys. Check it out. It's just the old house water pipe or something. So you got the stick out of your butt there. There we go. <laughs> 
This sucker sure is covered in clams, though. This river is like one of the worst I've ever seen. Clams, litter, everything. Some dirty, dirty water. Um, why is this mud so magnetic? I think there's something out here. Mine's coming up. Dude, <laughs> What the heck is this one? What is it? I don't know. Is it a piece of siding? I think it might be, bro. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys, look at this. I caught the old jousting pole. Let's joust Alex right off of the pole. This is way longer. That's a, got the advantage over me. <laughs> I think this is like, um, oh, yeah, like a vinyl siding. It's just a straight chunk of metal there man and we got um yeah like i said really clammed up vinyl siding i think you guys suppose it is good to get out of the water not valuable to me but we'll take it we'll take it home we'll get it out all right here we go got us a little hot spot here what is this one and a variety pack on there you guys nothing too crazy some rebar a little boltaruski but the interesting two pieces on there. I thought this was like a bike pedal at first, but I don't really think so. And yeah, I don't know. Who the heck knows what this is, man? A little handle, you know? Oh, it's so nice out. It's fantastic. I've been waiting for weather like this for like eight months. It's like a big bolt with a whole bunch of nuts on there. That's pretty nuts if you ask me. I think that's pretty nuts. That's nucking fots, dude. Here we go. Booyah. Boom, chakalaga. We got something, some decent weight. What do we got this time? Oh yeah. All right. Great scrap weight, you guys. Not upset at all by finding that. Keep throwing. Hey, what in the world? I got some color on there. Uh, another handle off a gate or something like that. And we got us a rifle barrel right here, you guys. Check that out. Or it's a blow dart gun. <laughs> Ooh, we got something here. What do we got this time? Oh my goodness, man. I thought that was a flag. You know what, now that you say that, it might be like the top end of it there, you guys. Who knows? That, oh, it's duct tape. Maybe it's like a broom handle or something. Who knows, man? We'll lay it right on the rod pile for the day and keep throwing. Dragging something in here. Oh, <laughs> look at this, you guys. Oh, I got some massive weight, bro. Oh, yeah. <sighs> You'll be able to become a plumber. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, it's big, heavy, and ugly here, you guys. I think it's just a straight clammed up pipe dude insane weight that we're pulling out of here for today throw that one by the others we also had whatever the heck this was here some sort of uh frame and piece maybe it was like a chunk to like an old bed frame that would be my guess oh there we go oh almost something sticky right there yeah we got it i got it it's off the ground Oh, way! What in the world is this? This looks like a dryer vent, the thing that goes outside, you guys. It looks pretty similar to the thing that I have set up in my basement. Just some more scrap weight, you guys. Doing fantastic on the weight today. Got a little something. I don't know if it broke away from the mud or what. What in the world is that, dude? It's a weird looking one there. It's like a pulley system, you guys. Check it out, absolutely. You got a little cable wire going through there. Is the space at the bottom. Maybe it was for an old like uh, boat launch or something like, uh, or a lift, I mean, a boat lift, excuse me. Pretty cool find, man. There we go, very next through. Something's wiggling the rope. Oh, do it, yes! I don't care about the stick, but I wanted this pan, dude. This is crazy. Look at that, man. We're having river pie that thing is cake full of stuff absolutely man we got ourselves the old steel cookware or iron cookware cast iron pot pretty cool man you think this is a signature series like gordon ramsay or something super cool this one here is super rusty what in the world is that trying to get some of the clams off maybe we could get an idea there's some sort of 
dial or bell or solenoid on the back. I really have no clue, man. Kind of reminds me of that great piece that I found in my very first throw. Who knows? Oh, got the handcuff chains there or something. What in the world? What the heck do you think was uh, clipped on here, man? Maybe. Was this the same area that you found your fish net? Maybe this could be like chain for one of the fish nets. Who knows? Something's going on down there. What is that one? Another strange one. Finding some weird stuff today, you guys. Dude, it's a giant keyhole. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> what the heck is that? I have no clue, man. Let me give it a quick wash. Maybe there's some letters on there. I'm not sure, you guys. It kind of, I don't know, maybe some sort of washer. I don't know. But it definitely has like a coin slot in there. Could be anything. I don't have any stamping on there. At least nothing I can make out. That's gotta be a tree. What in the world, dude? There's something there. What is going on here? Bro. What's on the end of that? Is it heavy? No, it doesn't really feel like oh. anything. Oh, no. What the heck, dude? What in the world? It just keeps coming out. What in the world, man? <laughs> Super strange. There's a bag probably just caught up in there. Yeah, it's just an empty bag full of muddy water. I have no idea. Is this an electrical cord or like a telephone line? What in the world, man? Yeah, there's like a little loop kind of bent on there. But that's the only story that that tells. <laughs> I have no idea. Jiminy Crackets. Oh, here we go. Yes, sir. -y. Okay. I mean, I'll take it, guys, but holy smokes. How many of them can you really pull out of the same section of river? <laughs> this is insane. Throw right on the pile. Cash money. Oh, sheesh. How is it still on there? Bro, 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 I don't know. It's like a satellite dish. What in the world? Oh, whoa, man, that's like 80 pounds. Wow. How did that magnet stay on there? What could that even be? A fire pit? No. The iron giant skirt. It looks like it could be bolted onto something. Yeah, for sure. Holes on there. Yeah, kind of like a wheel hub almost. Like you would kind of bolt like a, like a tractor wheel hub. Oh, that's like a freaking dump truck, dude. Holy that's big. God. That's pretty. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Don't I got a breath. Holy smokes, that's huge. Talk about some cash money scrap metal, dude. Even if the price is as low at what, six cents a pound? Or, it's like. $15 <laughs> right there, just cause of the, the weight to it. Insane. All right, I'm gonna catch my breath. I'm gonna get my magnet off and flip it over. We'll take a closer look at what we got here. Holy cow. Whoa, there's something else on here too. Looks like those things that you launch uh, fireworks out of. <laughs> what in the world there? I'm surprised that's even magnetic. Feels like aluminum, that's super light compared to this freaking thing. Oh, there's the backside on there, you guys. All I see is just more rust. No letters or stamping, stickers, none of that. What the heck is this thing? I, I, I think this is heavier than, a, than like a manhole cover. This is incredible. Perhaps even my heaviest find yet. Wow. Oh my gosh, next throw. I don't know if my arms can do it again, man. <laughs> I don't know if I got it in me. Oh, what the heck is that? You know, canister or something oh, look at that. Dude, it's unopened bro Whoa. what the heck is that there's un unfortunately there's no label is that would the I, is that the date it's unknown i see a light writing on or no yeah you're right there's a is that, that the be, date what does it say zero two zero five two one six i don't think that's a date i don't know i think that might just be oh dude right here before 2027 
but who knows how long canned goods are for. Well, yeah, look. 2027, if it's still in there and it's There's something sloshing ah! around in there. I dare to eat it. Dude, no, if I don't even want to open that, this. That'd be the ultimate. I don't even think I could take a whiff from this. This probably smells <laughs> it's, like it's canned, death. it's probably good, Check especially it if it's been in the river. Yeah. It, it's, it's probably good. <laughs> I think if it's yeah. been in the river underwater, it's like basically refrigerated. I mean, yeah, kind of. Because the water's so cold, usually. <laughs> right. Weird, dude. What the heck is this, you guys? Alex found some kind of green can of something, and it's still sealed. There's no writing on there at all. There's definitely <laughs> something in there still. I don't know if I need that one anymore, though. You know what you should do? Hmm. Get a can opener and actually open it. <laughs> right. For the video. Like after when you get home. Right, I could. That'd be a good idea. Puke. Yeah. <laughs> a diamond with water in it. <laughs> Got something massive, dude, right by the old satellite dish. Probably about half as heavy. Yo, what in the world is that? What the heck is that? I don't know. Something. <laughs> sure is, dude. It almost looks like it's supposed to unfold. It's and wobbly. Yeah, you can see the forks there. You can see it's supposed to expand or something. Maybe like a TV dinner table or something. <laughs> Who knows, man? I'm not gonna mess with it too much there. I'm gonna keep throwing on that hot spot. That's what's gonna do. Oh. Yo, where's some color bright, but it's nothing interesting. And we had this pole thing. I would say it would be a flag pole, but typically they don't have leaves at the end. They're usually birds. I have no idea, man. Maybe it was a bird feeder. A little decorative piece at the end there. Who knows? What the heck? Dude, look at that. I didn't even feel this thing. A little measuring cup. And it's like something that you could use right now. It just needs a little sanitization. There's not a speck of rust on this at all. What if I gave this thing to Bailey, you guys? Would that be pretty funny? What the heck is this? Pretty cool, man. What do you think? That's a full cup, huh? I ought to take a guess. One cup. Another one! Are you Another me? one! No! Check this out. Two unopened no cans. Hook. Now you gotta open them. Right, for sure. Are. They have the same expiration date too. So oh. these were next to each other on the shelf. They, they bought two of them. Yeah, they bought two more than they needed. They said, screw it. <laughs> That's a shame that there's no label left on there, you guys. I'm gonna have to open these things up tonight. Oh, right. oh hey, I also had a CO2 cartridge on there. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen, uh, this might be the first one of the year that I found. Last year we've had uh, maybe a hundred of these darn things. Who knows what they're all used for. Oh, dragon. Snagging and dragging. Yo, what is that one now? Oh, hey. First of all, let's check this one out. That was it's a like knife. a tent stake or something, I would say, right? You'd oh, put yeah. this in the ground and maybe put a pole in there to support it. Maybe even a fishing pole, who knows? We have this. Oh, it's a can. Maybe like an old oil can or something, you guys. Back when they were magnetic in what, the 40s, 50s, 60s era? Way before I was born. Not a bad throw at all. I found me a whole bunch. <laughs> oh, get up here. Dude, the tires are still pumped up. Shut up. Are you kidding me? So I got me a brand new mountain bike here? Oh. <laughs> oh, I got lipped off on something huge. Yes, sir. What do we got now? This is darn heavy. Oh, no, it slipped. Ah, come on. Click back on that. Are you kidding me? Get up here. Get up here. Oh, why in the world did we just pull up here? We're getting some weird stuff today, you guys. I know I always say I don't know what this is, but like, holy cow, dude. This is like, <laughs> this is some of the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. It's like a decorative almost, maybe like a chunk of a table. What do you think, man? What the heck? It's bent and it's not broken, which is the weird thing. It was supposed to be bent like this. What in the 
What the heck? Oh, well, some more cash money scrap metal. Nonetheless, you guys, maybe 10, 15 more pounds of it. It's the old clam stand. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow, we are loaded. I almost can't even see over there. We're tipping pretty good on the <laughs> cart side, too. What the heck is this, you guys? Some sort of solenoid looking piece. Judging by the connector shape, I would say that this is for a, a, an automotive engine, you guys. Perhaps marine, but that connector, that looks very familiar back when I was still working, you guys. Who knows what it really was? Maybe some sort of pressure sensor. Pretty cool find. Along with the old scraparoo, the cleaver blade. Whoosh, whoosh. Very next throw, very next find. What do we got, dude? Another weird one. Picasso shapes. What the heck is this? You gotta use your imagination to kind of like picture something. Like, what do you think here? Take the clams out of it because I found a piece like that and it, and it, I took the clams off and it ended up looking like Santa pointing a finger. Really? Yes, yeah, so I don't know if like maybe that might be part of that. Like a yard shell type Yeah, thing. maybe. No, I don't think it's anything. It looks like Snoopy's maybe? face. Maybe. Sleigh. Perhaps it could be part of the sleigh. We did get something. It's over here, you guys. Oh, dude. Look at that. It's a basketball hoop or something. What in the world? Got the old metal band here, man. Went used to uh, clamp stuff down, you know? Some... Metal band, not the rock band. <laughs> no, no, not a rock band, nope. Metal band, hard metal. Da, 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 da. These things are pretty cool. The old hookeroo. Here we go. Come here, I'll get you one. Hey, I Stay got away. you too. At the same yep. time. Now it's a duel, dude. Oh, now we can really battle. Mm -hmm. Now it's on, uh, dude. Fisher was just talking about his meat hook, and then I pulled one up right beside it. Unreal. Insane. So you think it's like a refrigerated truck they would transport like I a... I think, but yeah, like some kind of big meat hook. Hangs hmm. just like this, and you hang a big old slab of cow. I wouldn't want to do that job, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll stick the magnet fishing. Pretty cool find here, you guys. We each got one to take home. We got something. Third meat hook, it feels about the same. Oh, okay, X marks the spot, you guys. Check it out. We got some cash money here. Look at that one. You got a little one. I got me a mini meat hook now. <laughs> That's for like chickens and stuff. <laughs> you guys, this is the meat hook for cows, and this is the meat hook for chickens. <laughs> what is that? Pretty cool, man. Sticking out of water. Oh, I was wondering that. I don't know. I think it's just a piece of wood. Uh -huh. It's a weird piece of wood. It's a boot. Is it really? It's a boot. Oh, it is a boot. Is there's a something boot. in the boot, too. Yeah, no, dude, there's it's something. Otherwise, it wouldn't be floating. There's something <laughs> inside. There's an SOS in that boot, dude. There's literally a boot floating down the river here, you guys. Look at this. Look at literally. There's got is there something in there? You it's think? gotta be. That's why it's why is it floating? Oh, I don't know. Mm, nothing in there. Just a floating boot. At least there's no leg attached to that one. <laughs> Holy cow, it actually doesn't look like a bad boot. <laughs> look at it's waterproof too. How ironic. Oh, we got something here. That moved a little bit. Or maybe another style of meat hook? I really don't know. Ooh, this is heavier than I thought, y'all. Down there. Oh, oh, what the heck? Whoa. That's way too heavy to just be a chunk of pipe, dude. <laughs> oh, smokes. This is extremely heavy just to be a piece of exhaust, you guys. And it's all in like this coupling piece there. It's almost like a freaking drive shaft or something. Oh, there's a Frankie poking out. He wants oh, a yeah, picture. He <laughs> wanted a picture, dude. <laughs> I have no clue what this is, you guys. Pretty cool. Some more cash money. There we go. Oh yeah. A little something or another. Oh, then it slipped. You're kidding me. There it is. Back on it, you guys. Oh, got us the old green 90 degree elbow piece. Maybe it was like a frame for a chair or something but we it was obviously sheared off at the end and broke off at this end as well you guys who knows Wait, the horse works? I'm not sure. oh, 
just got plucked out of them. Yes, what? sir. Both of us, you got huh? Something too? Yeah, pretty darn heavy. We're doubled up here. Well, you guys, no doubt the biggest and heaviest pipe of the day. If I had to take a guess, it could very well be a flag pole holder because it has those wing nuts at the end where you would, you know, clamp something down. Pretty cool, man. I got to put this on this side of the boat to kind of offset the weight. I got this big heavy thing and net heavy thing over here. It's probably about 120 pounds or so. No kidding, you guys. And the boat's still leaning hard on the left.